Yep. I'm absolutely going to kill myself if I get out of here without asking this. Uh, this question occurred to me when my friend bodily forced me to pick up the first book in the Hitchhiker's Guide, and I read the very first sentences on the very first paragraph. What on God's green earth does this man have against digital watches? <laughs> um, well, I have to admit they've improved since I... <laughs> since since I actually wrote that bit. Um, but if you think about it, I mean, the first digital watches, which were... Um, well, you, I mean, you, you, look at, um, you look at a regular watch with hands, and, um, and you've got a pie chart. You remember the time when we used to get very excited about pie charts being the, the thing that computers did for us? <gasps> pie charts! <laughs> But at the same time, we were getting terribly excited about pie charts and what they could do for our understanding of the world. We are saying, we don't want pie charts on our wrists. That's old-fashioned technology. No, what we want is not something you just glance at and see what the time is. We want something that you've got to go into a dark corner and put down your suitcase and press a button in order to read, oh, it's 11.43. Now, what is this, um, uh, how, many, how long is that before 12 o'clock? Um, and, and this was progress. <laughs> but, um, but you see, the great, I mean, the great thing about human beings, I mean, uh, I mean while you make fun of it, uh, is not only that we invent stuff that's new and better and, uh, and, and, and does things better, but even stuff that works perfectly well, we can't leave well enough alone. And it's really, it, it, is, it is the most sort of charming and, and the delightful aspect of human beings that we keep on inventing things that we've already got right once. Um, I mean, like, you know, bathroom faucets. I mean, it's very, very simple. You turn it on, the water comes out. You turn it off, the water stops. Um, and, and we've kind of got the hang of that. That works. But it's amazing, you know, you go into a sort of, um, you know, a hotel lobby or an airport and you approach the um, basin with a certain amount of sort of anxiety. You know, okay, what's... Um, What do I do? Do I turn something? Do I push something? Do I pull something? Do I knee it? Uh, do I just have to sort of be near it? Um, and once it started to, once the water started to flow because it's picked up some sort of brainwave energy from me or whatever. Um, so how do I, now? How do I stop it? Is it my job to stop it? Uh, will it stop itself? I mean. Um, I, I think we've got the faucet down okay. I just think, but, it, it, you know, it's, I, I just think it's wonderful that we just sort of keep on inventing it even though, though it works perfectly well because it's the, way of, it's the way of getting ourselves off local maximums, isn't it? Um, I think that's all I have to say there. <laughs> <Thanks>. <laughs>